Hi and welcome back to video number two. I believe this is going to be your most important video because it's where we're going to learn how to look at the responses and assess the responses and make edits and changes to both our grid and our topic. So let's orient ourselves. We've just signed in as an educator and we're in the part called My Grids. You can see by this blue line. If I scroll down here, things are delivered to me in a vertical fashion and I know that I am in my teacher view when I am looking at them vertically. So I have the opportunity to look at all the topics inside of my grid. I can look at it as a student and over here I can make changes to both my grids and the topics using these three buttons which we will talk about later. So inside of this teacher view I'm going to go to my grid called Google Summit. This is a grid that I make for all the sessions I do at Google Summits. And then the topics are the locations in which I did them. So we're going to notice that this is also vertical. So each of these are my topics and I'm going to go to the topic called Durban, South Africa. And it says you're going to view the videos. So it's going to deliver these videos because I am in the teacher view in a vertical fashion so that I can watch them one at a time if I would like. And this is important because when I watch them like this, I get more information and more options for what I can do with that video. So let me play this one really quickly. Hi, I'm um, Alana. Hi. I'm Kirsten. We're from the drama department. Now we're doing this together because the drama department is all about creative collaboration. Now, Definitely. <laughs> but we have to be quiet because there's some maths teachers. This is them in their natural environment. So that's really cute. I wanted to show you. I thought that was a very creative way of doing it. Some people stand and they look right into the camera. I love it when people take creative liberty with these. So what's important about this is when I'm watching it from the teacher vertical view, I get some things that I don't get anywhere else. I get the option to give feedback to my students. I can make a rubric for performance and ideas and I can, I can give them comments using text if I choose. I can look at the details. When did they turn this in? When did they do that? I can look at the replies that other kids have done. There are no replies to this one. And I can also share it. If it's something really good I want to share with a parent or maybe out on Twitter or put on my blog by embedding it, I have that option. I can also, and these two things are really important, I can feature it and say, hey everyone, this is a really good example. I love what they've done here. And if I feature it, it puts it at the front of the grid. And I'm going to show you that in a second. But I have this other amazing thing I can do. I can spark it. And spark it makes it its own topic. So on my grid, it becomes a topic because maybe I thought this was so amazing. I want every student to watch and respond to it. So I can spark it. When I do that, it says sparking this video will create a topic using the student's video as the topic. I'll say I hit the spark button and now it's letting me change some of the details about this. Maybe I only want kids to respond for 30 seconds. Maybe I want to say something else here besides view Kristen's response. Maybe I want to say, what do you think of what she said about math teachers? Was that nice? And I could change that. I go to the lower right hand corner and I can update the topic and it will become its own topic on my grid. Let me prove this to you. I'm sure you trust me, but here we are in my Google Summit grid and that should be at the top now. Oh look, there is Kristen's topic. So I've sparked it into its own topic. To look at it as a student, I would come up here and I would click on this 3D 373 and you can see it says view as a student. Now I'm looking from the grid point of view. I'm looking at all of these responses as a grid and here are the ones that I featured. I also sparked this which you probably wouldn't do both but I did it for this present for this example but you can see what happens when I feature them. If I go to watch this and I'm viewing as a student because it's on a grid You'll notice all of those other things. Hi, I'm Alana. I'm Kirsten. We're from the drama. So I only have the option to reply and to leave one of these great emoji responses. That's from the student view. 
That way the students don't have access to the other things that you have access to. This is also my grid and this is also the student view. Here are all the topics on my grid and remember students have to click inside of this white portion in order to get that. We've talked about this at my session, but up here is this thing called Add Ideas. And I honor this as a place for students to leave their own ideas and their own views on things. If I go to the upper right hand corner with the three dots called More Options, I'm gonna go back to the Teacher Dashboard. Here I am again, and we've already talked about this. Teacher View, Student View, and here are some of the things that I can do. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go back to Google Summit, and I'm gonna view as a student, which is what we just did. And that's what I would see in that instance, just exactly what we had just seen. So I'm gonna head back to the more options and go to teacher dashboard. Ooh. Now, so we've looked at it from the teacher view. The teacher view gave us the ability inside of a topic, we have the ability when we look at them to have these extra things that we can do here. So that's only in the teacher view. The student view does not have that. Okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna head back to my grids by clicking my grids. And we've gone over the teacher view, the student view. Now let's look at this. I can make a grid inactive. Maybe we're done. I don't really want anyone responding. I should do that more often because these Google Summit people come back. But actually, I'm gonna keep it active. I don't mind. This is a place where I can share my entire grid, not just the topic or not just the video, but the grid with someone else, maybe parents. So I can get a URL. Here's the URL that I can share with parents. I can embed it and it's gonna give me an embed code, here it is, that I can put on a website. I've done that many times. Or I can grab a QR code that I can print out and place around the school or give to parents or anything that a QR code might be good for, for getting people to my grid, if it's appropriate for me to share it. Sometimes students don't have releases for things to be shared, so then it's not. I can also come over here to actions, and I can edit the grid, and that means I'm gonna get to edit the name, the topic, the purpose, anything like that. So I don't really need to do that, so I'm gonna click back. I can also, View topics, which we've already done many times by going to the grid and seeing all of those topics. And here is one of my favorites. I can add a co-pilot. So let's say that I have a teacher that I, from South Africa who I want to co-pilot this with me. We're reading the book Wonder and I want her kids in South Africa to read the book with my kids in San Diego. So I can add her as a co-pilot and together we can add topics, we can grade, we can have our students on. It is fantastic. I can also change my grid notifications. I can turn them on and off, which you might want to do. And I can further, I can do integrations. So integrations are things like if you happen to have Canvas at your school or you use Microsoft, there are some integrations there. I don't use any of these, but it doesn't mean you won't. I could also delete the grid. I don't want to delete this grid. I love this grid. But let's come over here to our classroom. I don't really need this grid anymore, so I'm gonna delete it. And all I do is hit this delete. It says deleting this grid will also delete every topic and video response, so they want you to make sure. And I did, and I'm fine with that. So this is how, as a teacher, we look at those responses, we assess those responses, we maybe share with another class, and these are some of the beautiful things that you can do inside of Flipgrid.